Hey guys, how's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out my channel, what is up? I'm Amy. If you're joining, welcome back. So this is going to be love messages. These are going to be collective. So if it resonates, fantastic. If it doesn't, the message is not for you. So go ahead and like the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you're not. Also hit that hit that bell. Hit that bell. All right. So the first uh, message that was coming through says, I know I need to make a decision, but it's harder said than done. For some of you, whoever you're involved with right now, whoever's, you know, in your energy fields, whoever, you know, you're getting all these love messages or readings on, you know, it, it just feels like this person needs to make a decision. But as you know, making important decisions are hard. And especially when your heart is saying one thing and your mind is saying another. For some of you, that's exactly what's going on with this person is that their heart is telling them one thing, but their mind is saying a complete, you know, other. We also have long distance missing you for some of you this person is actually long distance it's a physical distance where i feel like even in distance it, it feels like they can't stop thinking about you it feels like this is where they feel like they're supposed to be so whoever this is for you they are missing you they are missing you they're wondering what you're doing they're wondering who you're with i want to plan a weekend getaway with you for some of you this person wants to plan a weekend getaway they want to spend alone time with you they you know they do miss you they miss being close to you they miss touching you if that makes sense but yeah that's what i would say i would i definitely feel like this person is in this place where it's like they want to speak to you there is someone interfering in our relationship for some of you this is a third party situation this is the third party where you know whether they were entertaining or whether this was just like a hater or someone who was jealous, I would say that the reason this connection or this situation hasn't been able to get off the ground yet is because of third party is because of the situation. I want to have a family with you one day. This person has thought about having a family with you. They thought about being close to you. They thought about, you know, life with you. What else can I say as the collective message, please? What else can I say as a collective message? The karmic third party put a spell on us. Yeah, so I definitely say that if you are connecting with someone and you felt like there was a third party, if you connected or if you are in connection with someone and you felt like there was just like this interference going on, then um, that's what I would say. One second, guys. Hello. Um, sorry guys okay so yeah for some of you this person wants a family with you they feel terrible for hurting you I feel like for some of you you've been through a lot with this person there's been a lot of ups and downs with this person and I'm getting this like feeling like no matter what there's still love there there still has been love there there's still love somewhere centered in this connection you know maybe maybe they thought the grass was greener on the other side and it turns out that it's not that i mean for some of you it could be that but i feel like this person's really in like deep thought about the fact that they are hurting so many people underappreciated me i thought you were just like them it's easier to leave than to be vulnerable for some of you, this person is in this position now where it's like, it was easier to leave this connection than it was to try to make it work. I know that sounds bad, but, you know, I feel like this person has issues that were steaming far longer 
before you even came into the picture with them. And I felt like they were very accustomed to leaving when shit got hard. That's not to say that they don't love you or care about you. I know people have their own, you know, I feel like people love people in their own way. And even though it may not come across as, you know, that they don't love, how can they love you if they leave you? I get that. But I just felt like there's just so much going on in this connection with this person. So it says, I see you as my future wifey and husband. So this person does see a future with you. They do see you as a wife. They do see you as a husband. It says, I'm struggling with money at the moment and I need to focus on that first. So this person, there was money issues, right? There was money issues. They, they were struggling. And it's in, it's in this position of they want to focus on their career. They want to focus on their work. They want to focus on becoming better. I found myself when I found you. I feel like this person always wanted love. They always wanted commitment. They always wanted marriage. They always wanted stability. They always wanted security. And then all of a sudden the universe or God drops in their lap and they're like, what the heck? Right? That's the kind of feeling I'm getting is like you either came out of nowhere or just who you were was too much for this person, which at the end of the day would make it, you were just not right to be with this person. But I just felt like this person hit a lot about who they really were. And I mean, they're struggling hardcore right now. I'm sorry that I, I'm sorry that people have failed you. I will not be the next one. This person doesn't want to fail you. This person's coming from a place of like, I wish I, I wish I could have been the person that they needed. Right. I wish I would, I wish I would have been the person that they needed. Um, yeah, sorry. They just, they just really feel like they're hurting you. They felt like they really hurt. They felt like they really hurted you. What else is the love messages from this person, please? What else can I get with this person? I'm coming by you later. I feel like for some of you, this person literally, they're just going to show up. They're just going to show up. It, it's not even going to be like, I'm going to pick up the phone. I'm going to call her. I'm going to text her or him. I'm just going to show up. Whether they want to have that conversation with me or not, it's like, I'm going to show up. I'm going to have this conversation. I'm going to tell this person how I'm truly feeling. Whether they're reciprocated of that or not, it's like this person is coming in strong. Being with you makes me forget all about my hard days and moments. All right. It says, we'll always love you. No one else sees me these feelings. It's like, um, this person feels like, even though I've, even though we've gone through so much, I know I'm going all over the place, guys. I just feel like there's different energies coming through. So please take this message and what parts of this message are resonating with you. But it just feels like 
this person is realizing more and more that even though the situation was hard with you, even though the situation had a lot of ups and downs, Um, it's like they, they can't, and they don't want to move on from you. They want to sit down and have a conversation with you. I'm just going to pop up when you least expect it. I, I, for some of you, I'm sorry to say like this person is no matter if you want to see them or not, this person is just going to show up. And I feel like because they genuinely want to have that conversation with you about something, they want you to hear their side or they want you to hear what they're feeling. You make me see the past as the past and you're my future and present. It's like, no matter what, this person's not going to go down without a fight. I don't know what else to say, but you are the only, you are the other half of what I've been asking God for. I felt like this person was so afraid. They were so afraid to open up. What else can I tell the collective free spirit? I'm afraid to contact you because they, they don't know how you're going to react to them. They don't know what you're going to say to them. They don't know what your reaction is going to be towards them. My lover, my forever, my one and only, I only have eyes for you. And they see you as the one. So at the end of the day, it's this feeling of, okay, I got to come and tell her how I'm feeling. Regardless if she feels the same way or he feels the same way or not. It's like this person's coming towards you. I don't know if that resonated, you guys. I feel like I'm a yo-yo right now. <laughs> I feel like um, I'm all over the place. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this, this, uh, this message for you guys. Because I feel like this person truly does care for you. But I feel like a sense of how do I, how do I approach? How do I approach? How do I, how do I come speak? Right. All right. You guys let me know how this resonates. Hit that like button guys. Subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you guys soon.